everyone, we've been following for the last few weeks the quest for Team 0% to beat every single Mario Maker level there is. And as of last week, they were down to just one. And while that level hasn't been beat, officially, their quest is over because it says it has come out that the final level that we had made by a ho yo one that I defended as thinking was real because I watched the man play. I was like, oh yeah, you're gonna. Well, it turns out that it was a fake all along. Oyahu came out after about 10 days of players grinding it to admit that the level was not uploaded correctly. It was uploaded via a task. Here's Oyahu. TTH was made unreasonably difficult to cause a ruckus. I put an effort at promoting it in 2017 so that it could be played, dissected, and scrutinized. Once that would happen, I, had, I would announce that a task existed for SMM. I did not expect that it would go unnoticed or perceived as easy from watching the video, or that it would take nearly seven years to be uncovered. The sunk cost fallacy of wanting to follow through with the failed troll, combined with new IR responsibilities, allowed the nonsense to continue. I knew about Team 0%, so I let things be until they would uncover it. I delayed uploading Bomb, Bomb 5 until the upload shut down, because Bomb 5 is also illegitimate. Ah! By the way, Bomb 5 was cleared legitimately by players, though, as far as we know. As far as we know, I don't want to say anything's 100% anymore. I deserve no credit for either. will not deny Team 0% their victory. From attempting to upload Bomb 5, I developed tendon issues in my thumb. After some breaks, noticing they weren't healing properly, it became unrealistic to continue. Once I accepted this, I felt a sense of relief. Someone had messaged me about a task they were working on for Wii U. In a video they sent me, it seemed like they had it working, but they told me they were abandoning the project. The task was replicated by my friend after two days of building. So this is what's really, one thing I really want to point out that's really crazy about this. For seven years now, we have not known that there's been working task tools for specifically like Mario Maker, where you could use it like online, like not use like an emulator, like online, like load it up for a working Wii U. And for me to doubt that, I don't really feel like a dumbass for doubting that, but Again, I was wrong, so I am, you know? Because I had already resigned to leave stream and pursue other things and suddenly had a working task. I thought the bomb guy should go out with a bang, so TTH was constructed. I, you know what? Bomb guy in quotes from here on out. With all due respect, Oi, who, uh, bomb guy in quotes, okay? The PogChamp, I defended him so hard. The PogChamp contest was made because I wanted to be a venue for Kaizo enthusiasts to gather. The judges were doing a live viewing contest and let them know that I intentionally broke the timer rules. And after showcasing TTH, they should disqualify me. The past week when the bomb finally blew up, things escalated quickly and the community was divided, which is not my intention. I'm sorry for the drama it caused in the community. I regret the whole ordeal. But at least it was interesting. However, in the end, the truth matters the most. Congrats to Team 0% on their well-earned achievement. SMM is cleared and the last dance was the last level. Which I gotta admit, like, the last level being the last dance is very romantic in its certain way. Now, before we get into the fallout of all this and everything around it, first of all, I want to give some people an opportunity to dunk on me. You know, I never said, oh yeah, I'm 100% sure it's going to be, it, it was, you know, it was cleared, but I was definitely on the 95%, 99% sure. But that doesn't matter because it was right, right? Like that doesn't matter. It was right. Um, I thought some of the things felt like people were being salty and maybe they were, but maybe they were being salty because they were like, there's no fucking way this guy could do it, right? Like, maybe they were that angry. I also felt like, hey, this stuff really doesn't matter. And, and granted, it doesn't in the grand scheme of the world. None of this matters. But also, like, when this is something you have dedicated your life to, like someone like Yoshi has, who, who I did use his tweets in one of my last videos, I can understand why maybe you get a little bit more emotional about it. And, you know, so I, I want to give an opportunity right here. Here's Yoshi actually watching me read his tweets. He knows it was fake now. Dude, I want to hear him talk about this shit, man. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Well, first thing I want to say is, Yoshi, you were fucking right. Dunk away. Dunk away, bro. You were absolutely right on that. Um, and I want to give everyone else credit here. So I'm going to bring up some screenshots. GPB, guys, this level is legit. We didn't have sophisticated enough tasks back then. So I thought. <laughs> Imagine holding on to a, this tool for seven years. Anyway, the statement didn't even have time to age. Yeah, it didn't age like milk. It aged like hydrogen five, the isotope with the shortest half-life of all known atoms. 
Fair. I was wrong. I take the L. I take the L. You know what I mean? I definitely, I think, I think there was a few things that let, led me to be wrong. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't particularly love the evidence uh, that was there. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing. Why I thought the evidence was, you know, flimsy circumstantial at best, wouldn't win any like debates in debate club. I was wrong. I believe no matter what evidence, no matter what would hold up in the court of law, ladies and gentlemen, I was freaking wrong. And I want to give you all an opportunity right now to dunk on me. I got to take the L on this one, ladies and gentlemen. I was definitely on the I'm pretty sure it's real camp. And I am damn, damn wrong. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to Oyu for finally coming uh, clean. It had to be hard after all this to come clean after people were defending him like me. I mean, I'm sure he didn't want to make people like me look like an idiot, right? You know, I'm sure that wasn't his intention. And overall, I'm glad that he finally came out with the truth. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fallout of all of this, right? Um, it's been pretty sad news. Um, a lot of players right now um, are just kind of resigning themselves to the fact that, like, they wasted where they feel like they wasted a lot of time trying to beat the last level. But as far as anyone concerned, is Mario Maker 1 beaten? Has Mario Maker 1 been beaten? Yes. According to Team 0%, Mario Maker 1 has been beaten. You can check out the journey here, 100% clear. The final first clear was the last dance, uh, achieved by uh, Kazahinen, I think he goes by Yamato online, and with 24 days remaining before the server shut down. Trimming the herbs will no longer be the last level cleared. However, not everyone is uh, giving up on trimming the herbs. It's not all for naught. Uh, Jank Pickle said, it was tasked all along, sunk cause fallacy has sunk in, and I guess I'll give it another few days. I don't like 0% ended like this. This, but oh well i think i still want to go for it there's still a deadline and i don't and i don't know it's a comfy grind and you know what i really respect uh jank pickle right here because jank pickle uh is very very close to beating it another person very very close to beating it right here snacksy uh we've been watching snacksy a lot and you can see snacksy is getting extremely close um legit run this is them getting to the third stack getting there and they've done this and they in practice they've done the rest of this a bunch of times so we've watched them do from there in practice a bajillion times so they have everything in segmented ready to go so i still expect snacksy to complete it to be honest with you uh if i had to guess i still think this level is going to get beaten by a non-task i know lil curbs is still going to be following through with this level as well uh was able to beat the second half of trimming the herbs today during practice well, I guess he hasn't tweeted since this happened, but uh, I watched a little er or a little curbs last night, um, Sunday, which this came out on, I believe it was Friday, uh, where this information came out. I'm sorry I couldn't make a video with it. I was at PAX East all weekend, um, but I've seen little curbs still going. I know he's still going at it. Uh, unfortunately, the beast has decided uh to go ahead and stop no more trimming the herbs for me today today i'm playing some unclear levels of mario maker 2 so i want to play mario maker 1 before it shuts down um which i think that's totally acceptable he was never super into it but then i think he got kind of like you know caught up in the grind he also thinks snacksy has the best shot at beating it um you watch him hit this third stack 16 times in just his first hour of stream it makes me feel like snacks he might actually be really close you can see here he decided to give up on beating the trimming the herbs then now i'm having giving up on trimming the herbs regret mind is broken from the way this all ended as someone who put in so much work on this like on this project the beast did i have to imagine that this really melted his brain and kind of hurt his soul a little bit uh everyone that put so much work on this project i imagine this definitely hurt and and even us as fans like all of us that were watching this is a very anticlimactic ending it really kind of sucks it went out like this i almost wish i mean this sound, might sound wrong but i almost wish oyahu would have waited until either a the server deadline passed or someone actually cleared it legitimately to come out and say this just because that would have made it like that would have made that person even more legendary in everyone's mind um but you know i, I props to him for coming coming out and and saying you know saying the real shit saying how it is let's look at some other takes christian worst who's he was also on the i think it's real kind of 
tip here. Saddened by this news, finally happy to see evidence, which I think is like kind of all of us. I really liked this take right here though. Someone said, uh, actually insane how someone can bend over backwards to justify their actions. Props for coming forward like the least he can do considering he lied about every notable achievement in the last four years and completely fucked the team's zero effort. But I thought Craw right here had probably one of the best takes on this entire situation. And one that I'm gl very glad I read before I watched this video or before I made this video. How did he fuck Team Zero Percent's efforts? The the last week was an all-time high viewership for Maker content since Mario Maker 2 came out. I get it's kind of fucked its task, but in my opinion, it did more good than bad. And you got to be able to laugh at the situation because it's pretty fucking funny. Not going to lie. You know what? All that is true. Every single streamer that was streaming Tripping the Herbs was doing it to some of their biggest viewership ever. I was streaming to some of my biggest viewership of the year, restreaming those streamers, and they were getting their biggest viewership of the year at the same time. This, I think, was ultimately kind of the best take about the whole thing. Uh, while it sucks it ended this way, at the same time, it did kind of create this beautiful moment and it did really kind of help the streamers and it put a lot of like attention on streamers that a lot of us may have not known about, you know? While Yoshi may not like me, I know about him now <laughs> and I completely respect his gameplay and skills and why fair fair again Yoshi you can dunk on me fair you were right I was wrong <laughs> um these are things I know about Snaxy another player I know about we've uh spent so much time with Jank Pickle lately she's been crushing the viewership it's just been wonderful to see all that happen another great take I thought, and this was probably my favorite take of all. I think it's fitting that Mario Maker ends with a troll. Feels like the perfect send off for that game. And quite frankly, if you've spent any time with the Mario Maker community, this is probably the most base take there is. Um, it's kind of amazing that after all of Mario Maker, after everything we go through, at the end of the day, Mario Maker is a trolly video game. It is. We're out there trolling each other, whether it's with hidden Kaizo blocks or twice twices or random hidden tech that we never knew about, like a task for the Wii U system that's been hidden for seven years now. Mario Maker's about trolling your friends. What I'll be taking from this forward myself personally is listen, I need to, even if I think evidence is flimsy, I need to take into account, right? Um, you know, this is, uh, I need to not, you know, I need to, I need to always give that little 1% because, because as much as those players couldn't prove it was tasked without Oahu coming through, I also couldn't prove it wasn't. Um, and I was taking just kind of my, Respect for him as a player, um, my interactions with him back in the day, feeling like he was a genuine person. Um, and also, quite frankly, my desire for all of this to be real because I was swept up in the fun and the excitement about it. And I just, I wanted it. I wanted it to be real chat, so. Again, um, I really appreciate you guys checking all this out. We're going to be covering a bunch of other awesome gaming news here on this channel. So make sure you like and subscribe right now. And if you feel the need, go ahead, leave a comment and dunk all over me saying, Pooh, you were wrong. I knew it was Tass all along. Yeah, right. <laughs>